Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn how to install MySQL in Windows. But before we begin, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data science and business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some leading experts and universities like Caltech, Purdue, and IIT Kanpur, and much more. Through these courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Excel, Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen of others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitions into data science or analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job or profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a data science and analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started with how to install MySQL in Windows. To install MySQL, let's go to Google. And now let's open the official website of MySQL Workbench. So you have to type MySQL download and go to the first link, which will take you to the MySQL Workbench homepage. Now scroll down and you can see MySQL community downloads. Click on that and here you can see a lot of options go for MySQL install for Windows. Then here check your version. Let's select the latest one and let's select operating system as Windows. You have MSI installer and MSI installer 2. Go to the second option which is about 200 MB, not the first one. Now just click on no thanks, just start my download and now go to downloads. There you go, your installer file is getting downloaded. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now the MySQL installer has been downloaded. Show in folder, run that particular installer. Provide any admin rights if you are having admin permissions. If you don't have any admin rights, I think the installation should start right away. There you go. The install has started after giving the admin rights. I think this should be the last admin rights. And then the installation should go on. There you go. The install has been started. Now here we have various options. Server only, client, full, custom. If you don't have any idea, then go to full. But in case if you have idea about what you're going to install, I would recommend go to custom and select the server, workbench, and a few other things. And that should be good. So let me go for servers first. That's the server MySQL server 8.0. That's the one we need. And if you need a shell, you can also go to shell. And the most important one for today's session is about the workbench. So anyways, let's take the server and then the shell and also the workbench. The drag and drop is not working. I think we can select the arrow. There's the workbench. Next is the shell. And after that, we should be selecting our server. There you go. Now next and execute. All these three will be installed soon. I think they have got installed. Now, yeah, I think we should go to next. One last check once. Yeah, so next, next, and here just check the port numbers and uh, I would like to go with the default port number here, no changes, and next, and here we have to use legacy authentication, but I would go with the recommended one. Now provide password for your workbench, choose the password that you would like to remember. That's my first password and I'll be repeating the same password here for confirmation, and next. There you go. Let's have a standard system account grant full access to mysql and now execute so that all these configurations get applied to your installation they are started now your work which has been started double click and now give a password that you gave during the configuration enter and that's how you install workbench in your local windows system now you can create new models new databases etc and you can run a default command which is show databases which will show you uh, the default databases that are readily available for you to work on on the MySQL Workbench on Windows. The command is 
show databases and semicolon but now let's run the default commands and as the series come down from simply learn on sql you will learn more sql tutorials so that's the show databases command draw that class symbol and there you go you have the default databases and that's how you install mysql workbench in microsoft windows and with that we have come to an end of this session on how to install mysql in windows operating system and if you have any of the resources that we used in this session like the links or anything please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.